Do you know how to sew? Sewing is an art which is a hobby for some while for others it is profession. You can create new things every day with the help of sewing. Sewing machines are easily available these days and people who are fond of this art will surely have a machine in their house. With the help of the machines you can surely create some magic on your clothes or even on other items. Other than clothes you can sew curtains for your house, make embroidery and various cloth pieces. You can either make it for your beloved or even for some other member in your family or you can even start off with your business. You can surely warn a good income from this kind of work of art. You never know one day you might turn out to be a famous fashion designer of the town. If you have your dreams then try to make it true with the right kind of training if you love to sew then you should always pursue it and make sure you practice it to make it perfect. At certain points of time a great design might come up to your mind. You might never find that design in any of the dresses that you have seen in the local stores but if you know how to sew then you actually do not need to depend on any store for a particular design. You can get the cloth piece and start sewing your own design to make it stand out from everybody else. But before you start sewing you must have an idea about the kind of needles used as well as the patterns and designs required for sewing. There are certain tips which can help you sew better if you follow these simple tips then you can surely become a great sewing artist one day. These techniques will help you create a good work. If you are working on a transparent material then you need to make your hems and facings very neatly. When you are making a dress you should complete all the essential things and keep the hem for the end hem is the last thing that needs to be done. When you are handling the fabric for sewing make sure you handle it very carefully. You should be careful because the fabric might get stretched which can create problems in your dress later on. You must remember that different kinds of garments use different methods of stitching. The methods of stitching a shirt are different from that of stitching pant. The fabrics used for stitching might also differ. When you pick up a pattern for stitching you should pay attention to it and study them. You must understand the pattern nicely. Some people tend to put the pattern upside down because they fail to understand it properly. Stitching pillow, curtains, quilts can be a bit difficult. You should always begin with the easier options and then move on to the difficult. For more information visit our website today.